and welcome everyone. Congratulations on your acceptance to Tech. And on behalf of the Institute, allow me to say that we are so happy that you guys want to become Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. My name is Brianna Ivey, and I'm a senior electrical engineering student here at Georgia Tech. I was born and raised in Macon, Georgia. Around campus, I'm a member of the National Society for Black Engineers, African American Student Union. I'm a mentor for the Office of Minority Education and Development, and I'm also a member of the Black Student Recruitment Team. And this weekend, I will be able to officially say that I am a Georgia Tech graduate. But today, I am so honored to be your host for Connect with Tech. Now, taking from someone with four and a half years of experience, becoming a Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket is easily one of the best decisions that you could ever make. And today, we are here to help you guys understand what that experience might be like. We'll be posting some polls throughout our program today, so make sure you guys weigh in. Our first poll is going to be starting right now, and the topic is, what are you most excited for about? We know that this is an exciting time for you and your family, so be sure to weigh in and let us know what you're looking forward to the most. During our programs, we hope to share information with you and your families over the next couple of months. We know that a lot of you haven't had a chance to come to campus due to everything that's been going on, but we hope that we can bring the campus to you and give you a taste of life at Tech. It is our hope that you can learn more about the campus and our Georgia Tech community here. And to get you started, I'm going to turn it over to our Director of Admissions, Mr. Rick Clark, who has a message for you, the newest members of our Georgia Tech family. Hi, my name is Rick Clark. I am the Director of Undergrad Admission here at Georgia Tech. And on behalf of our staff, of our faculty, and our administration, as well as our alumni all over the country and all over the world, I want to again tell you congratulations. Uh, we really enjoyed reading your applications. We're so amazed and impressed by everything that you guys have accomplished. And we really are so hopeful that ultimately you will choose Georgia Tech. I know that you've worked incredibly hard during high school. You've had a huge influence on people around you, on your families, on your communities. Uh, and so I hope you'll take a little bit of time just to celebrate everything that you've accomplished and the fact that you have this choice and this option. My guess is that you've been admitted to some other schools or that you soon will be admitted to some other schools. And more than anything, we hope that we'll be able to tell you as much as we possibly can about Georgia Tech and all the reasons why it might be a good fit for you. Uh, in the end, we just want you to make the best choice for you and for your family. Tonight, we're really excited to uh, introduce you to some of our students, to introduce you to some of the people around campus, and hopefully to begin to introduce you to one another as well. Uh, it should be a really fun evening, and we plan to schedule a number of these throughout the course of the next couple months. If there is anything that we can do as you are looking to make your choice and selection for college next year, please reach out. Uh, we also hope that you'll follow us on social media. We are at GT Admission uh, pretty much everywhere across the board. And anytime that you might have a question or need something from us, feel free to call or email um, and we'll be available to assist you in that way. Happy holidays to you and your family. Enjoy tonight. Congratulations and go Jackets. Yes, so like Rick said, be sure if you have any questions, reach out so you can understand what to be here at Georgia Tech. And we hope that by the end of the, end of the day that you'll know what we know, and that is Georgia Tech is a very special place to be. And now we're going to move into something that everyone loves, and that is our giveaway. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining Connect with Tech today. The admitted students, we know that this is a very exciting time for you guys and your families as you continue to weigh your all of your college options, and we want to share our gratitude with you for joining us today on our virtual student program. We'll be randomly choosing two students, attendees today in our virtual program for a Georgia Tech giveaway item. You don't have to do anything to be in the running besides be logged on into our virtual event right now. So congratulations, because I believe everyone tuning in who can hear me is already on the right track, potentially winning a fun giveaway prize. And at the end of the day, we'll draw for our two random giveaway winners. We'll reach out to you via email on how you will get your giveaway mailed to you. 
So this day is all about you guys learning more about what it's like to be and this next segment gives some insight on my personal experience as a student here for the last four and a half years and some of the things that I've done and some of the things that I hope to do. Living out my dream, my life is different. If I want it, then I'm it. Living every day like it's Christmas. Cause I'm gifted. This week, NASA's Perseverance rover successfully landed on Mars, and a Macon native played a crucial role in making the mission possible. Senior Brianna Ivy helped test out the math used by the rover as it moves around. Always trust your journey and your process, no matter what obstacles you may encounter or odds that are stacked against you, because you have all the tools to be successful and you are capable. And the second thing is always know that you belong in whatever space you set foot in. Every conversation that's being had, every table that you sit at, you have something important to say and you are valuable. And don't be afraid to be yourself in those spaces because you will change the world. I have had a chance to do some really amazing, incredible things as a student here at Georgia Tech. I've gotten the chance to intern with NASA and work on the Perseverance rover that is right now on the surface of Mars searching for signs of past life. I've gotten a chance to build multiple wearable biomedical devices, including partnering with the doctor in Ghana on a team of engineers to build incubators for a new hospital in hopes to save some lives. So Georgia Tech has truly changed my life. But the one thing that I've learned, the biggest thing that I've learned that underlines all of my experiences is that Georgia Tech taught me that I have the power to impact. I did not want that feeling and that empowerment to stop after I graduated on Saturday. And so in an effort to continue that spirit of impact outside of Georgia Tech and in my own community, I started Big Sis, which you've seen at the end of the previous video, which stands for Boldly Impacting and Growing Students in STEM. And the goal is to embrace, encourage, and empower the next generation of great minds in STEM, which just so happens to be you guys. Those handles that you've seen at the end are for Instagram and Twitter page, where I am hoping to give insight again on what it's like to be a Georgia Tech student, some of the projects that we work on, and also let you guys hear from different majors, not just electrical engineering majors, but civil, mechanical, ISYE, all of my friends around campus to let you guys in on what we feel about being Georgia Tech students and how much we love it and the great things we get to do. So if that interests you at all, follow those pages and let me know what else you'd like to see. And know that if you choose to come to Georgia Tech, Tech will help you unlock potentials that you didn't even know you had and help you understand how you can impact the world. As well. So today, we have two very special guests joining us to help give you an inside look at Georgia Tech. And our first guest is Dean Rahim Bia. Dean Bia is Dean and Southern Company Chair of the College of Electrical. He received his master's and PhD in electrical and computer engineering from Georgia Tech. He's a native Atlantean and a graduate of the Atlanta Public School System. Bia was an assistant professor in, in the Department of Computer Science at Georgia State University, a research engineer with East at Tech, and a consultant with Anderson Consulting, which is now a century. He enjoys running, video games, spending time with his family, as well as cooking and traveling. So please help me give a warm virtual welcome. Thank you, Brianna. Hi, Dean Bia. Thank you so much for joining us on the call today with our newly admitted Georgia Tech students. I wanted to first give you a chance to share your congratulations with them. So before I do that, I, I need to congratulate you on graduating. Congratulations to you. It's a big, big deal. Super proud of you. As the folks just saw on the call, you are a celebrity. Um, so I'm, I'm just so proud of you. And I can't wait to shake your hand uh, on Saturday at the undergraduate uh, undergraduate ceremony. Super proud of you. One thing that I'll, I'll double down on, which you mentioned earlier, was that Georgia Tech changed your life. And I tell you, I have the exact same story. And, and I have traveled all over the world, literally, 
and I've been in Singapore, I've been in China, I've been in Japan, and they see a Georgia Tech pin or a hat, and people stop me and say, oh, wow, Georgia Tech, or I know people there. Uh, and so Georgia Tech absolutely, absolutely changed my life as well. And so for the folks that are out there who just got accepted, big, big deal. Um, I, I got lots of text messages from friends. Um, it's a big deal. And congratulations. You should be super proud of yourself. You are accepted because you are the best of the best. And we're excited. And we absolutely hope that you decide to choose uh, Georgia Tech. Absolutely. I second everything that you said. <laughs> it is such a wonderful place to be. So, Dean, can you share a little bit about what your role is? That's a great question. Uh, what does a dean do? Um, so I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Georgia Tech overall, because a lot of folks don't know. They they see the, you know, they they watch some tech football and they know we're a great engineering school and, and computing and other areas. Um, but I tell you, Georgia Tech is a is, is a unique place, and so tech has two different sides to it. So the side that the students normally appreciate is the academic side, where the faculty members are, and you have your classes. That's the, the resident instruction side. But Georgia Tech also has what's called a, an applied research side, so the Georgia Tech Research Institute. So it's really two big pieces that actually make up Georgia Tech. And the Georgia Tech Research Institute is about 2,700 research engineers and scientists that are doing lots of um, uh, different types of work from defense to agriculture, et cetera. Right? So first of all, two different chunks uh, of Georgia Tech. Now, uh, Tech actually has eight different deans. Um, folks don't necessarily know that. And so six are academic deans, so they run colleges like me, and two are uh, uh, deans that are more sort of professional um, um, program deans. So the dean of the Georgia Tech Professional Education and dean of the library, right? So two of those deans and then six academic deans. Um, so what does a dean do? Um, I tell you, uh, it, 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 if you look at my calendar, I'm just glancing up at it. Uh, it is crazy, <laughs> but very, very different things actually each day, right? And so um, I think of my job as it's, I split it down the middle, internal and external, right? And so externally, it's, it's thinking about making sure that I'm out raising money um, primarily um, for you all um, and for our faculty members. So uh, one of my most important um, uh, areas that I'm focused on now is raising money for scholarships. And so, uh, you know, alums love to give back, love to support students like Brianna, love to support students like out there that I can't see the uh, that are out there. They love it because they know how Georgia Tech changed them. So a big part of it is telling the world literally how amazing Georgia Tech is, reminding them how amazing it is, telling our story and raising money for various initiatives, scholarships to um, uh, things to support our research program. So that's half of my job. The other half, I would split into two different chunks. One is sort of setting, setting the strategic vision for the college. So what's next? What is the college engineering gonna do three, four, five, six years from now? Uh, and that's the fun stuff, right? Just like the external stuff. It's like, oh, we started to think about AI and cybersecurity and personalized medicine and all these things that we're building and, and have really strong programs in. So that's another piece. And then the piece that eh, you kind of got to do uh, is, is sort of the management piece, right? So it's, you know, approving stuff, right? Signing off on stuff, um, uh, meeting with, with individuals just to kind of keep the place going, the operations piece. But the other three-fourths um, of the job is really strategic. It's selling the college and, and doing things to support our students. Wow, I did not know that. So let me take the time to tell you thank you, because I think as students, we get so busy day to day, we don't realize how many other things have to happen in the background for us to have things like the Hive lab that I spend all of my time in. So for us to have things like that, you guys have to be behind the scene running the show. So thank you for the hard work that you do. Absolutely. Next question I have for you is, over the next two months, our admitted students will be making a big decision on where to attend college. And for many of our Georgia Tech community members like yourself, you had to make a similar decision on where you wanted to call home as a student and as a faculty member, and now as dean. So why did you choose to become a Yellow Jacket and what made and to make Georgia Tech your home? Yeah, fantastic question. And we, you know, we've touched on a little bit of that already. Um, I mean, there really is no place like Georgia Tech, right? If you 
if you think about um, from a number of different angles, obviously we are a fantastic program in terms of our, our reputation in a number of different areas. Um, but that doesn't matter if we're not a place where people feel as if they're welcome and they belong. And so I like to, to, to also say that we are a place where, where anybody can be successful um, and that we support everyone and that this campus belongs to everyone that, that comes on campus, not just one particular group that we're really inclusive. And if you think about um, the, the intersection of quality and inclusivity or diversity, um, there is zero competition, none. Nobody exists at the level that we do. We have, um, have the majority of our deans are, um, and, and this is the new incoming dean that's coming, are women, right? The majority of our deans are women. Let me let that sit in. The majority of our deans are women. Like that is a big, big, big deal. And so I am super excited to be at a place that that is not just outstanding, but a place that's that's truly inclusive. And so no place. We have the best students, uh, the best staff, and the best faculty in the world, not in the state of Georgia, not in the country, but in the world. It's a place where we want you to build things. You mentioned the Hive. That's one of our maker spaces the one that's focused on electrical and computer engineering, where Brianna can go in and just go, you know, hey, it's a Thursday evening and I want to go build some stuff. And so she can go in and just build some crazy idea that she had been thinking about, even if it's separate, you know, from, from your studies, right? And so a place that fosters that, fosters collaboration. Um, and our, our alum are fantastic, right? I mean, including you are about to be in two or three days, but I mean, we got alums that are astronauts. I mean, I was hanging out with an astronaut two months ago. Like, this is crazy. Like, wow. And she's on our faculty. And it's a she, and she's on our faculty um, now, which is a, a big, big deal. The, uh, the, the founders, the CEO and CTO of Peloton um, are Georgia Tech alums. The CTO is a comp e major, uh, Yoni, and he is fantastic. He's a really, really nice guy, right? So, for so many different angles, Georgia Tech is a is a fantastic place, and uh, it, it's hard it's hard to leave. It's hard to get out. I mean, I, I you know I graduated, um, but it's like I can't I can't leave this place. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned one of my favorite things about being here, and that's the people. The community is so fantastic. I just stood with my project group the last time, stared at each other, not wanting to leave because we've grown that close. So, people here are truly truly amazing. As an Atlanta native, what is one of your favorite parts about Georgia Tech being? Oh, wait, I, I, I missed, uh, oh, oh, about Georgia Tech being in Midtown. Um, you know, uh, so Midtown, and, 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 and this is going to lead to kind of the la you know, some advice that I, that I hope I get to give later, which is, you know, G Georgia Tech is, is fantastic, and the campus is a beautiful campus. You know, many of you have seen it, um, or you might not have seen it extensively, but it's a fantastic, really green campus in the middle of the city, which is unheard of. Um, but there's so much more to the city than Georgia Tech. And and so if you're a foodie like me, um, so many amazing restaurants that are around, so many fun things. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go in this weekend, take my son to, to Andretti's, this sort of race car, uh, you know, indoor race car thing. So it's lots of activities. You got six flags and lots of fun stuff. And so, um, you know, lots of great things to do um, when you're here at Georgia Tech. But I, I strongly encourage you, in addition to, you know, doing work, which is great, um, it's going to be there. Explore the city because it, it's so much to offer here in Atlanta. Yes. Do you have a favorite place in Atlanta that's a must see for our admitted students? You know, as, a, as an Atlanta native, it's hard for me to answer that question, you know, because everything is just like, eh. Um, but I tell you, a favorite thing to do when you're here, uh, it is, that is Georgia Tech, Georgia football game. Don't miss it. So no matter what you do, if you're out of town, come back in town. No matter who <laughs> scored the game, we don't want to talk about the last game. Um, but it is fantastic, the most energy and excitement you're going to get. And so... If I had one recommendation, make sure you go to the Tech Georgia game uh, when you're here on campus at least one time, but probably a couple. Yes, as long as you don't pay attention to the score, it is a great time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the score is unnecessary. That, that, that's, not, yes. that's not where we go. <laughs> Outside of overseeing the College of Engineering at Tech and attending a lot of meetings as the heard you also enjoy playing video games, so you said you weren't good at them anymore. So what's one of your favorite video games to play? or? 
I don't think I'm that bad now. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm age appropriately good. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I can beat other forty somethings. Um, uh, but no, I so so video games are what got me interested in engineering and computing, and and so I started. Uh, my grandmother, you know, several decades ago, bought me um, an Atari Twenty Six Hundred, uh, which if you let me talk about it, I'll talk to you for two hours about it. But it, it changed my life. It was just amazing, uh, and so I started playing video games there. I really got interested in. Um, well, wait a minute. I, it'll be really cool if I could do these things and notice all these limitations in the games. And that got me thinking about computer programming because that's kind of the foundation of these games and then the hardware that supported the system. So video games are, are really what um, drove me to, to, to engineering and computing. And so I've had like every system since then, uh, you know, including like the most recent ones, which is interesting because I got a PlayStation 5 and I really felt like, man, I'm really getting old because I would have never gotten to a point where I, I got my own video game system, but my son has played it more than me. And that that is like, you know, I mean, he played it before I did. I'm like, who are you? I don't know you, kid. Oh, you're my <laughs> son. Okay, fine. Uh, but uh, so so the games I like to play, um, Call of Duty, I was actually pretty good in this last one. I don't, I don't like the one that just came out, but the one before that, I played that for <laughs> a while. Um I have Battlefield. I play. I got. I got Battlefield, the new Battlefield game. So I play the games. So I don't give up my gamer tag because I don't want you all to be mad that oh man, Dean beat me, and you know <laughs> that I that I beat you. So I don't share my gamer tag, but I am out there uh, lurking. That is so funny because my brother loves Call of Duty and he was trying to teach me how to play it. I think I got pretty good, but I'm pretty sure you could. So. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now before we let you go, because I know you're yeah. super busy. Do you have any last words of advice or pieces of wisdom for our newly admitted? Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Um, you know, anytime I get a chance to to talk to um, newly admitted students or students that are here, uh, it's a, it's an opportunity because, you know, you all, students are our number one priority. If you look at our values in our strategic plan, it is very clear students are our number one priority. And so it's always exciting to meet new students and, and meet students that are that are currently here. Um, the advice I have is, you now I touched on it just a little bit, but I, I, it, this is perfect to kind of reiterate. Take advantage of all we have to offer at Georgia Tech. And, and so, Brianna, you talked about the Hive. Uh, you talked about the organization that you started, right? So, so being a tech is so much more than just learning about engineering or computing or policy or whatever. It's all this other stuff we have. And so we have, if you're interested in entrepreneurship, we're the number two um, startup generator in the Southeast, right? Second to a private organization, right? By, the, by far the number one university. So if you want to start a company, this is the place to go. We got, we had a student that just graduated three years ago. No, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. He started three years ago, not graduated three years ago, started three years. So he's maybe 21. Um, he, his company just got valued at a billion dollars, a company called Stored, right? And this he was just on this campus, he was just on this call four years ago, right? And he's the CEO of a billion dollar company. And that's because he said more than the stuff that's in the classroom, I wanna do some of this stuff outside. I wanna participate in entrepreneurship. We got all sorts of um, sports and, and uh, rec, rec league type sports and organizations, but get out of your dorm, get out of the classroom and do things bigger than that. And and also have fun, make lifelong friends. Brianna, I know that you got friends that you will, that, that will be with you for forever. That will be buddies that you will know forever. This is the place to do it. And the last thing I'll say is enjoy Atlanta. It's a great, it's a great city. It's my hometown. Uh, and it's so much to do here. Yes, those are great words of wisdom. Thank you so much for joining us today, DB. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So Dean B mentioned a lot of great advice that I wish I would have heard a couple of semesters ago, things that I just started taking advantage of this semester. So if you guys choose to come to this wonderful school, make sure you do take advantage of being in Atlanta, take advantage of all of the things that Georgia Tech has to offer. And before we bring out our next guest, I'd like to share a little bit about one of the many ways that students can get involved with innovation. So it's nicknamed the American Idol for Nerds. 
The Emmy Award winning Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech is an interdisciplinary innovation competition open to all undergraduate students and recent graduates of Georgia Tech. Created in 2009 and organized by Georgia Tech faculty, the competition brings together student innovators from all academic backgrounds across campus to foster creativity, invention, and entrepreneurship. Best part about the competition? I'm glad you asked. The first place winner of the Invention Prize competition walks away with $20,000 and a free U.S. patent filed through Georgia Tech's Office of Technology valued at an additional $20,000. We've had some amazing ideas soar to victory over the past few years that really highlight what progress and service means and our students who are competing. Check out this year's past first place winner and People's Choice winner, Delta Jacket, created by Aya Ayubi. Our next finalist is also hitting the road to help homeless people with a garment designed to adapt to the environment. Let's meet the woman behind the revolutionary Delta jacket. Hi, I'm Aya. I'm from Team Delta Jacket, and I found a better way to give the homeless back some much needed warmth and comfort. Right now, there are 150 million people who are homeless in the world. That's 2% of the population. And what's even more heartbreaking is that 900 homeless Americans alone will freeze to death by the end of the year, but they don't have to. The Delta Jacket addresses two specific problems, human survival and human dignity. The Delta Jacket is a revolutionary way to help thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people meet their basic human needs. I created Delta Jacket out of a genuine interest to help the homeless. Honestly, I didn't know that I would make it to the Inventure Prize stage. Now that I'm here, I think that this would be a platform to impact thousands of lives and help thousands of people. Wow. Wow. Okay, Delta Jacket, you have outlined a problem that affects homeless people around the world. So let's hear about your solution. Well, let me start by telling you the story of Nathaniel. Once upon a time on the streets of downtown Atlanta, I met a PhD named Nathaniel. But unlike any PhD you might know, Nathaniel brushed his teeth with the water from the fountain at Woodruff Park. See, Nathaniel was homeless. And that just goes to show you that homelessness can strike anyone at any time. These people are our mothers and brothers and sisters and fathers, and they need our help. And that's why I created the Delta Jacket. It's a revolutionary new product that can help give the homeless back some much needed heat and comfort. Comfort that's needed when you're camping every day outside and heat that's needed to keep you from freezing to death. This jacket, won't solve homelessness, but it can give them back a shred of their dignity and help them survive. The Delta Jacket, with its unique and patent pending technology, is an inflatable and reversible garment that can be blown up for added insulation or to act as air mattress type bedding. It also comes lined with an emergency foil fabric that can insulate you by reflecting your body heat inwards. And if it gets too hot, you can just flip it inside out and keep yourself cool. Either way, it's portable enough to just roll up and put in its very own bag. But before I talk your ears off about all the other specs that the Delta Jacket has, let's take a step back. While many, many homeless people are exposed to the elements unwillingly, there are 40.5 million Americans who willingly put their lives in Mother Nature's hands every single year for days on end. Those brave souls are called campers. But unlike the homeless who go through that every day, campers can afford their own gear. So because of the overlapping prospects between those two groups, I thought to sell the Delta jacket as camping outerwear, and for every one jacket sold, one will be donated to the homeless. And to show you that my head isn't in the clouds, I've already received 512 pre-orders and my website's only launched a few days ago. To that note, the Red Cross is already committed to distributing 1,000 plus units of the Delta jacket as soon as it's manufactured. So as you guys can see, 
Georgia Tech students are always innovating and leaving their mark on the world and the Georgia Tech community. And our next guest is no different. Our next guest is Evelyn Edwards. Evelyn is a sophomore history, technology, and society major from right here in the state of Georgia, Rome, Georgia, to be specific. And she was one of our hand delivery acceptance students in 2020. She'll be serving as our 2022 rec driver, which is a huge honor here at Tech and one of the most coveted positions you could have as a student. She's involved in the Rambling Rec Club. She's an Ivan Allen Student Advisory Board member and an Excel mentor. She enjoys going to Georgia Tech football games and baseball games and studying in the library with friends. So please join me again in giving a great warm virtual welcome to Evelyn Edwards. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Hello. So I know we're going to get into what it means to be the rec driver because I don't know if our admitted students really truly know how cool that is. So I will hold my excitement until we get to that. Cool. So first, we are here with our newly admitted students who just got to hear from Dean Bia, who's college of Before we jump into our questions, I wanted to give you a chance to give your congratulations to our newly admitted students. Yeah, congratulations, everybody. I know. You have all worked so hard for this, and I hope that you feel like it's finally paid off. Um, having an opportunity to come here was definitely like, I in high school, I didn't think I had the chance to even come to Georgia Tech. And so finally getting accepted, like it was a big, a big highlight in my life. And so I hope that was also a highlight in y'all's life as well. So very much congratulations, you deserve it. You worked so hard and I hope you recognize that. Yes, I hope you recognize it too because Georgia Tech is a very special place to be and you got in, which means a whole lot. <laughs> so, as we all heard from your intro, you're from the state of Georgia and you chose to stay in state to go to Georgia Tech. Can you share with our newly admitted students why you decided to become a Yellow Jacket? So, <clears throat> I grew up going to Georgia Tech games. Um, however, I knew I wanted to work in the humanities. I was never really um, STEM focused in high school, um, but then I did more research because ultimately the more I came to Tech's campus with my parents, I fell in love. <laughs> um, and then I ultimately found the Ivan Allen um, College and realized that's where I needed to be. And so I applied, got in and completely changed my world. Um, I decided to stay in um, state because I wanted to be close to family. I originally was looking at colleges far away, but ultimately I realized I probably could not do that. Um, but I just like realized that this is where my home was. I had the same kind of experience. I visited here a couple of times and I could just see myself here so clearly. So it was obvious that it was home for me. Now, you were one of our students who got a hand delivered letter when you were accepted to Georgia Tech. Can you tell us about what that experience felt like and what you felt on that day? So that's actually a really funny story because at the beginning of that week, um, I got an email from my counselor saying, we're gonna have a meeting in my office. <laughs> and oh. it terrified me. Um, right. I never really got into trouble in high school and I thought I definitely like was in trouble. Um, nobody knew anything about what was going on. So then she moved the meeting to the library. I got there, I had some friends there. My parents were there, which also made me really concerned as well. <laughs> um, and then they sat us behind this table, still had no clue what was going on. And then, of course, the admissions officers walked in and handed us those packets and I, I just burst into tears. <laughs> I it was such a like, I don't know, I it was just so overwhelming and so happy. I was so happy and excited and I don't know, it was just very, very exciting. It definitely helped add to like that accomplishment that you feel when you finally get into tech. Right. I was going to say, it's one thing to be accepted, but another thing to have them come and hand deliver a letter to you, that should go on your resume. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so we heard that you were recently elected as the 2022 Red Driver, which is a huge accomplishment. So congratulations. 
Can you share with us what to do, what you get to do as a rec driver and in the Ramblin' Rec Club? Yeah, so I'll start with Ramblin' Rec Club. Um, we're a spirit org here on campus and we do a lot around campus. So um, during homecoming, um, you'll see there's a couple events called Freshman Cake Race, which hopefully if you all attend um, tech, then you will hopefully do. Um, <laughs> and it's just a couple, we just do a bunch of different things around campus in the hopes of like spreading joy, um, helping boost student morale and, you know, um, you know, really trying to get people in to fall in love with text traditions like we do. Um, that's also one of our main um, things that we do is trying to promote as many tech traditions as possible. Um, just last week, we did our event with um, Pennies for Sideways, which was a tech tradition where students will lay pennies on a great sideways grave up near Tech Tower for good lucks for finals. So um, just like small events like that and also big, bigger events like we also help with football games, um, which the, the rec will be at. So like we're, we also take care of the rec as a car and like make sure it's at events, make sure it's running, make sure it appears where it needs to appear. Um, and so, yeah. And then as the rec driver, um, I I be physically driving the car to those events, <laughs> um, making sure it is, um, you know, people are having the best experience with the rec as possible. It is our biggest tradition. Um, and so just making sure people actually can feel the same excitement that I feel when I see the car. Um, I also will give people rides in the rec. Um, first years cannot touch the car, so you will have to wait a year. Yes. Um, <laughs> but that moment that you get to touch it after your last final freshman year, it's just life changing. It is so like that small moment is just so exhilarating. Um, yes. And so I just want to like the whole point of me like applying to that position was be able to continue spreading that joy and, you know, giving those exciting moments to um, students across campus. Yes, I can tell you the number of times that I'm leaving the lab where I'm stressed about something, I just kind of see the rake just driving through campus and honking the horn. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Georgia Tech tradition that you look forward to? Uh, hmm. I would definitely say, um, the whistle's not, it's like technically a tradition, but definitely like the whistle or the mini 500. Um, okay. <laughs> mini 500 That's is just, it's another homecoming event and it is just hilarious to watch. Everybody comes together on campus around Peter parking, Peter's parking deck and mm -hmm. they have a little trike and they have to ride the trike around Peter's parking deck. And it is hilarious, it is so fun. Everybody's just so excited to be there for homecoming and to compete in the events. And it's just like the atmosphere is unmatched. Like, it's just amazing. That's a good one. I, I enjoy watching that times I did. Um, let's see. Do you have any tips for our admitted students on how they can get involved once they start this upcoming fall or summer? How they can get involved? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my biggest thing was doing your research, looking up things, following people on Instagram, um, kind of seeing what the opportunities on campus are. I know um, we've in this video, we've kind of previously talked about some of the opportunities on campus, but really like meeting new people and through those connections, because really it's all about building connections is like joining different clubs, getting out of your comfort zone, talking to new people. Um, I think that's really the biggest strategy to getting involved is getting out of your comfort zone, trying things that you normally wouldn't try. Um, and yeah, and kind of like doing your own research of like where, what, what am I interested in and how can I put that to use on campus? That's good advice. Getting out of my comfort zone has led to some lifelong friendships and great memories. Definitely. Sure. Do you have any special recommendation for spots that they should visit on campus? Some of your favorite spots to hang out on campus? Mm. I would say definitely, well, my favorite place to study is um, <laughs> Price Gilbert Floor 3. 
it's very fun atmosphere very everybody's usually there it's very packed but i kind of like that um anywhere in the colk very fun um tech green definitely tech green every time i pass by it there's always people there having fun um doing fun things like throwing a frisbee there's usually animals there too which is also really exciting you get to pet a dog or recently they had the relaxation fest where they had like goats and um, farm animals so it's like there's always something happening on tech green that if you just pass by it like there's another way to get involved on campus like seeing different clubs and like um clubs tabling and you know events happening and so i would say that's definitely like the place to check out yes again georgia tech gave me a first time experience yesterday when i walked through tech green and there was like a dog and a goat i was like i've never seen these things (laughs) with my own eyes so (laughs) yes before we let you go do you have any advice or words of wisdom for our new commitment yeah i would say get involved um because I think that's going to be the biggest way to like make friends make connections have those memories um and ultimately learn to balance um I think the most successful people learn how to balance social and work because um you have to have you want to like make fun memories and you want to have those friends and those special like memories happen but you also are at Georgia Tech and you worked so hard to be here and you just have to learn to balance both of those in order to be a, success, a successful student. So I would say that's my biggest advice is trying to learn that balance. Yes, that is great advice. Great advice to start off knowing as a freshman throughout your time at take. So thank you so much, Evelyn, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank y'all for having me and congratulations on graduation. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. So- Bye. We've got a chance to hear from some great guests today, and hopefully you've been able to learn a lot from them about what it's like to be a Georgia Tech student. But before we sign off for the day, I want to welcome Andrew Cohen from the Office of Undergraduate Admissions to share a few quick announcements with you as you transition as a new Yellow Jacket. Thank you, Rihanna. And just once again, on behalf of the whole Office of Undergraduate Admission, we wanted to congratulate all of you on being admitted to our incoming first year class. But we also had another big congratulations that we wanted to do today. Um, As we have all heard, uh, Brianna only has a few days left of being a Georgia Tech student and technically has turned in all of her work, all of her assignments, uh, and is just waiting to to cross the stage uh, at graduation on Saturday. And we, one of the things of working with students here is we get to see all of the amazing things they do on campus, but they unfortunately leave us. And it's a little bittersweet, but we are really excited because Brianna is just one example of a student who's graduating this week and is going on to do some really amazing things uh, as she goes to uh, GE Healthcare up in Milwaukee. And as she has said, she is born and raised here in the state of Georgia, has gone to Georgia Tech, and now is leaving Atlanta and going up north and it's gonna be a little cold for her. And so we wanted to get um, a little treat for you. And so we'll get it to you when, once you log off, but we got a nice warm headband to keep your ears nice and warm when you're out there in that winter. And we know that lots of hot beverages are gonna be needed. So got another mug coming your way. So you are always representing Georgia Tech as an alum. And just wanna once again say congratulations to you and congratulations to all of our admitted students. So I will turn it back over to you. Oh my gosh, that's not what I thought the announcement was. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you all for joining us. And as a final note, we want to give you a quick rundown of what you can expect as you. If you know that Georgia Tech is the place for you, you don't want to wait. Make sure that you pay your tuition deposit to secure your seat in G26. I'm getting old. Be on the lookout for future admitted student visit opportunities through the admission portal as well. We'll be releasing some admitted student visit opportunities this Friday, December 17th, that you can register for. These opportunities include the chance to learn more about your next steps, interact with current and future Georgia Tech students in person and virtually, 
as well as hear more about your academic college and campus resources available. Thank you again for tuning in with us today and be on the lookout for future Connect We Take episodes throughout the spring and learn even more about our Georgia Tech community and family here in Atlanta. And before we go, I asked everyone to give you guys words of advice. And so I'm I know that picking the next, pick, picking the place you want to be for the next four years and picking your college can seem like a very difficult choice and probably kind of scary. But I want you guys to know that I also struggled with this decision as well. The thing that really helped me out was after I visited Tech, I was able to really see myself here, see myself creating and innovating with every other Georgia Tech student. And I could really see myself being a part of the Georgia Tech community. Georgia Tech has challenged me these last four and a half years, but I've been able to grow in every sense of the word, academically, technically, professionally, socially, anything you can think of, I've been able to grow in that way. I am the person I am today and the engineer I am today because of my decision to come to Georgia Tech. And I hope that in four years, you guys will be able to say the same. Congratulations again on your admission. Go Jackets. Oh, <laughs>